Good evening, friends, and welcome to Homespun with Red Yarn. Are y'all ready to get homespun? Uh, I, I couldn't quite hear you. You're going to have to be a little louder. Are y'all ready to get homespun? Good. Let's get spinning. Here we go. Well, we're going to get homespun. We're going to spin up our own fun. Got a good feeling it's a home run. Rocking and a reeling with your dear ones. Doesn't matter where you come from. Everyone is feeling around the same sun. So we're going to get homespun. Yeah, we're going to get homespun. Let's do it again. This time with even more spinning. Here we go. Oh, we're going to get homespun. We're gonna spin up our own fun. I got a good feeling it's a home run. Rocking and a reeling with your dear ones. It doesn't matter where you come from. Everyone is feeling around the same sun. So we're gonna get home spun. Yeah, we're gonna get home spun. Woohoo! Good evening and welcome to Home Spun with Red Yarn. I'm so glad y'all are here. Now let's get spinning. Hey folks, good evening. How's everybody feeling out there today? How you doing? Can you show me on your thumbs how you're feeling today? And really, it's okay to feel any way that you've been feeling today. Show me with your thumbs. Have you been feeling pretty good today? Have you been feeling really good today? Have you been feeling so-so today? Has anybody been feeling kind of tired or... Or, or grumpy, or, or maybe kind of sad or confused today? Has anybody had a big old range of emotions today? Some days we, have, we feel all the feelings in a single day, and that's okay, right? But I always think it's good to know some ways to, to cheer yourself up and to have some fun together. So I was hoping we could have a little bit of fun together this evening. Should we have some fun together? Oh, good. How much fun do you think we should have tonight? Like this much fun? More than that? Like this much fun? More than that? Like this much fun? Oh my gosh. Stretch out your arms and show me how much fun you want to have. You want to have that much fun? That is so much fun. I'm going to need your help if we're going to have that much fun. Who remembers? How do we have fun when old Red Yarn, that's me, and my critter friends come around? What do we like doing for fun? First, we love to sing. Put one finger up like this if you love to sing. I love singing. Singing isn't just fun. But it also fills me with hope. It fills me with joy. It, it, it brings me comfort in challenging times. So I hope you love singing too. Let's practice singing together. Everybody take a big deep breath. And sing. La 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 la. Oh, it's, it's Thursday night. We can sing louder than that, right? La 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 la. Beautiful. Who likes to dance? Put two fingers up like this. Good, we're gonna move our bodies too today. So everybody, let's warm up our bodies with a little wiggle in our seats. Nice, raise one hand if you like animals. Oh good, because I brought a couple critters with me today and they can't wait to see you. And raise both your hands like this and stick your tongue like this and go, if you wanna get a little silly. Should we get a little bit silly? I think that's a good idea. But when we're getting silly, we also gotta remember to keep our bodies safe, of course, right? And there's good times to be silly, and then there's also good times to be calm and serious. So let's try to remember when it's a good time to be calm and serious, and when it's a good time to be silly. We'll do a little bit of both today. Does that sound good? Okay, friends. Before we get started, I wanted to give you a little bit heads up. Usually my homespun shows are about 45 or 50 minutes long. Today's show is going to be slightly shorter um, for several reasons. But the main one is I want to give your family a little bit of time to explore some other kids' music options out there besides red yarn. So when my show's over after about 30 minutes today, if you want to use that extra 15 minutes or so of screen time, I would highly recommend that you look at my last Facebook post where I posted the names of maybe six or seven really, really amazing contemporary African-American children's musicians who are creating new content and creating very relevant, very beautiful music um, right now. So uh, when my show's over, if you want to fill up that last 15 minutes, I, I'd, I'd encourage you to go back to my last post and check out some of those artists like Jazzy Ash and Aaron Nigel Smith and Alphabet Rockers, Uncle Devin, Saul Paul, Claudia Eliza Zanes, Uncle Jumbo, the list goes on and on and on. But I'd encourage you to do that, okay? Because this week we've been talking a lot 
about Black Lives Matter, right? We've been talking about some of the things that are happening in our world right now, the way a lot of people are feeling frustrated about the way that black people are being mistreated and treated unfairly in our country. And so we're thinking of things we can do from our homes safely within our communities to try to elevate black voices, to try to um, change policies, to try to help our communities uh, feel safe for all kinds of people. So um, that's one thing I'd like you to try to do today, okay? Spend a little bit extra time tonight or maybe this weekend in exploring some other children's artists besides me. Sound good? Okay. With that, let's uh, let's check in with my critters. Let's see which critters came along tonight. Oh, oh my gosh, I forgot. Some of the kids right over are at home are probably letting me know right now that I almost forgot to do something really important. What did I forget to do before the show started? I forgot to wash my hands. Okay, can you all help me? Get your hands free. We've been washing our hands a lot lately, right? Because we've been trying to keep ourselves and our families and our community safe. So let's practice. Here we go, turn on the water. Get some water on your hands. Turn off the water. Squirt some water, uh, squirt some soap on your hands. Squirt, 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 squirt. And let's sing, wash your hands together. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash your hands together. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash your hands together. Scrub, scrub, scrub your hands. Scrub your hands together. Scrub, scrub, scrub your hands. Scrub your hands together. Now rinse, rinse, rinse your hands. Rinse your hands together. Rinse, rinse, rinse your hands. Rinse your hands together. And try, try, try your hands. Dry your hands together. Dry, dry, dry your hands. Now clap your hands together. All right, now let's see which critters came along. Whew. Thanks for reminding me, y'all. Okay, <gasps> it's my friend Miss Molly Cottontail. I love getting to see Miss Molly. She's been coming out most every week. Um, let's call her out in a big voice and let's see how she's doing. Okay, everybody say, come on out, Miss Molly. Come on out, Miss Molly. Here I come. Hi, everybody. It's me, Miss Molly Cottontail. Say hi, Miss Molly. Hi, friends. Oh, I'm feeling so good today. I'm feeling so happy. I've been having so much fun playing with my family out in the sunshine without a care in the world. I couldn't feel happier right now, Red Yarn. Well, that's great, Miss Molly. I'm glad you're feeling so happy. But, but I don't understand. Why are some people feeling sad and frustrated today? You know, the sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. We've got everything we need. So why would anybody fe be feeling sad or frustrated? You know, that's a good question, Miss Molly. You know, it's interesting, right? We don't always have the same feelings as other people. Well, what do you mean? If I'm feeling happy and I'm having fun and I'm feeling safe, that means that all my friends are happy and having fun and feeling safe too, right? Well, not necessarily, right? No, no. No, even within your family, you know, some days you might be feeling in a good mood, but someone else in your family might not be feeling in, the, uh, in a good mood, uh, the same good mood as you. So, so even if I'm feeling really good, that doesn't mean that other people are feeling really good necessarily. Yeah, that's right, Miss Molly. Well, why is that? If the sun is shining, if I'm playing with my family, if I'm feeling safe, if I feel happy, why doesn't everybody else feel that way? Because not everybody in the whole country or in the whole world has the same things, has the same safety, has the same sense of freedoms. So sometimes we're able to feel safe and happy and comfortable, but that doesn't mean that everybody, even in our neighborhood, is feeling the same way. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. I, I just assumed that, that if I feel safe and, and if I have a happy home and a happy family, that, that all my friends and all my neighbors would have the same. Not everybody has the same experiences, Miss Molly, and it's really important that we try to learn about other people's experiences too, so we can understand a little bit about the way they're feeling. Oh, that reminds me of a, a word I learned, Red Yarn. What word was that, Miss Molly? It's a word called empathy. Can you say that? Yeah, can you say that word? Empathy. Empathy. What What did you learn that empathy means? Well, I think empathy is like, is like, uh, trying to try to feel what what other people might feel, trying to imagine their perspective and, and what they might be feeling, and, and and trying to share our love and our care with them. 
Yeah, that's a good explanation of empathy. So just remember, Miss Molly, it's fine. It's good to feel good. It's good to feel happy. But it's important to remember that not everybody always has that luxury. Not everybody is always feeling the same way. Well, well thanks for that, Red Yarn. I, I hope you're feeling safe today. I f hope you're feeling happy. But, you know, it, it, it's okay if you're not. And, and I'd love to talk to you sometime and, and learn why you're not feeling that way. Oh, thanks for saying that, Miss Molly. Hey, hey, I've got an idea, Red Yarn. What's that, Miss Molly? I, I was thinking we could sing that fun song about me, Old Molly Hair. But, but do you think you could change up the words? Ooh, I love changing up the words to old folk songs. Maybe you could change up the words of, about standing up for other people and standing up for what's right. Could you do that for me today? I'd love to do that today. All right, friends. Keep on thinking about other people, trying to have empathy. It was great to see you today. Bye. Say bye, Miss Molly. Bye. All right, y'all. Oh, it's good talking to Miss Molly today. And it's hard to understand sometimes why, if you're having one experience, why the person next door or somewhere else in your neighborhood or in your town or in your country might not be feeling the same thing. But people have lots of different experiences and move through the world in a lot of different ways. Um, so it's good to have some empathy. Let's sing Old Molly Hair, but let's change it up a little bit today, okay? Listen to the words and see if you can tell how I change them. Do you remember how this song starts? First, we're going to go, Old Molly Hair. What you doing there? Same as always. Let's try it again. Old Molly hair. What you doing there? Then we'll think of something we can do together like standing up for others who've been treated unfair. Standing up for others who've been treated unfair. Standing up for others who've been treated unfair. Everybody stand. Put a fist in the air. Stand for somebody else who's not being treated fairly right now. Good. Let's see old Molly here again, even laughing. Old Molly hair, what you doing there? Can you pretend like you're marching? Marching in the streets and rallying in the square. Marching in the streets and rallying in the square. Marching in the streets and rallying in the square. Everybody march! Yeah, nice marching, y'all. Right, sing old Molly hair again, even louder. Here we go. And old Molly hair, what you doing there? How about jumping into action and trying to stay aware? Jumping into action and trying to stay aware. Jumping into action and trying to stay aware. Everybody jump. Jump into action, okay? All right, one more time in your biggest, most beautiful voice. Old Molly Hair, are you ready? And old Molly Hair, what you doing there? Can everybody imagine that you're sharing your love with a neighbor or someone else in your community who might be struggling right now? Here we go, sharing all our love, sharing all our care. Sharing all our love and sharing all our care. Sharing all our love and sharing all our care. For everyone in your community. Alright, let's clap our hands together, y'all. Nice, then we're gonna sing. Shaka like a shaka like a shaka like a shay. Shaka like a shaka like a shaka like a shay. Shaka like a shaka like a shaka like a shay. Shaka like a shaka like a shaka like a shay. Give it up. Shaka like a shaka like a shaka like a shay. Shaka like a shaka like a shaka like a shay. Shaka like a shaka like a shaka like a shay. Shaka like a shaka like a shaka like a shay. Woohoo! Old Molly Hair. Old Molly Hair is an old African American folk song. That I learned from a book, a collection of African American folklore. Um, it's related to the old Br'er Rabbit stories we've been talking about. Um, Br'er Rabbit and Molly Cottontail or Molly Hare were trickster characters from African American folklore. They're cool stories if you want to look those up with your families. Hey y'all, I thought it would be great we could go ahead and do our birthday uh, dedications tonight. We've got a couple of birthday kids watching out there. Who here has a birthday? Raise your hand. Oh good. Who here likes birthdays? Raise your hand. Oh good, who here wants to help some of our birthday friends celebrate their birthdays this evening? 
Oh good, we've got three birthday dedications and I would love for you to help me celebrate them. Are you ready? Okay, here they come. First, we have my friend Iris, who's turning four. Happy fourth birthday, Iris. This dedication came from your Aunt Sophie. So happy fourth birthday to Iris from her Aunt Sophie and from Red Yarn and the Critters and everybody else who's watching. Next up, my friend Elena is turning four this weekend. Happy fourth birthday, Elena. I hope you have the best birthday. I miss seeing you at school, but I hope to see you again really soon, okay? Happy fourth birthday. You're getting to be such a big kid. And my friend Deeranch is watching. He's turning five. Deeranch, can I have a big high five? High five to Deeranch on their fifth birthday. Woohoo! Can we sing happy birthday to Iris, Elena, and Deeranch? All right, I'm gonna grab my guitar. And let's do it. Here we go. Big, beautiful voices so they can hear us. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Iris and Elena and dear Ange. Happy birthday to you. Woohoo! Make some noise for the birthday kids! Alright, happy birthday, y'all. I hope you have awesome birthday celebrations. I personally think this is a good time of the year to have a birthday. Um, I'm a little bit biased, though. Uh, Alright. Keep those birthday dedications coming, grown-ups. Tell me if someone in your family has a birthday. If they do, let me know which day you'd like to celebrate it on. Um, Monday morning or Wednesday morning? I've been doing these Thursday afternoon homespun shows, but I think maybe next week or the following week, I'm just going to go down to two morning time shows for the summer. Um, so if this time works the best for you, I apologize. You can always watch a uh, rerun from earlier in the week at the same time. But during the summer months, it's gonna be too much for me to do three a week. So I'm gonna go down to two a week, I think. Sound good? Okay, good. Let's see another critter, okay? I got one more critter who wants to come say hi today. Let's call out my friend, Miss Snakey. Y'all aren't scared of Miss Snakey, are you? Let's try not to be scared, okay? She's, she's a really sweet snake. She's not poisonous. She's really kind. Let's call her out. Say, come on out, Miss Snakey. Come on out, Miss Snakey. I don't know if I want to come out today, Red Yarns. Oh, Miss Snakey seems sad. Say, what's the matter, Miss Snakey? Oh, well, people have not been very kind to me lately. Really, Snakey? Really? You know, sometimes I meet people and, and they assume that just because I'm a snake, that means I'm dangerous and they need to stay away from me. Oh, Miss Snakey, I'm sorry. But I'm a non-venomous snake. I'm very friendly, very sweet, very safe. So people don't need to be scared of me, but, but they just automatically assume all snakes are dangerous, so I'm going to stay away. Oh, Miss Snakey, that must really hurt you. It does. It feels terrible when people make assumptions about me just because I'm a snake. It feels really, really awful. Oh, Miss Snakey, I'm sorry. Can we, can we all say we're sorry, Miss Snakey? We're sorry, Miss Snakey. Thanks for saying that. You, you know, if people would just take the time to, to, to get to know me, they, they, would, they would understand that I'm a very kind and sweet snake. But sometimes they just make up their mind right away and they don't even listen. Oh, Miss Snakey. It's not, it, we, we need to give people a chance, right? We need to give other people and other critters a chance and, and get to know them and understand where they're coming from and, and who they are and what's going on in their lives, right? Yeah, that's right. Before we jump to conclusions about who they are, what they're going to do, I think a lot of us, even when we're not thinking about it, make assumptions about other people we meet in the world and about other situations. And, and we use information we've gotten from different places. Sometimes it's not good information. And we make assumptions about people. It's hard. It's a human behavior that a lot of people do, I think. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people doing that. So that's something we all got to work on. I'm going to work on that. I'm going to try to not jump to conclusions or make assumptions about somebody or, or some critter just because I have some idea. 
Well, thanks, Red Yarn. Uh, I know it can be hard, and, and I understand, but, but I really think people should give me a chance. I think all of our friends watching, they know you, they trust you, they love you. I, I bet they would love to give you some snaky squeezes today. Oh, I'd love a snaky squeeze. Can people give me a big snaky squeeze? Let's give a big snaky squeeze to Miss Snaky. Can we hiss some kisses too? Thanks for the squeezes and kisses. Thanks for, for taking the time to get to know me and, and who I am and that I'm really safe and friendly. I gotta get Slytherin, but y'all made me feel better today. See you later, sweeties. Say, see ya, Snakey. See ya. All right, thanks, Miss Snakey, and thank y'all for listening to Snakey. And thanks for not jumping to conclusions. I know a lot of people are scared of snakes, but there's plenty of snakes that are not poisonous, that are not gonna harm you. So it's important to, to take your time to get to know folks before you jump to conclusions, right? All right, let's sing a song about a rattlesnake and some other critters. I like this song. It's a beautiful folk song I learned. One of the things I like about it is it, it asks questions about critters before it, before, it, before it makes up their mind what these critters are like. It kind of asks them a question. It says, what makes your rattlesnake go rattlesnake? What makes your teeth so white? Groundhog go groundhog. What makes your back so brown? Uh, Jaybird, oh Jaybird, what makes you fly so high? So it's important to, to, to approach other people and other creatures with that open mind about what, what makes you the way you are? Where'd you come from? Um, what, what's your life been like, okay? So let's start this song with three stomps and one clap. Can y'all help me out? Hold up your stomping foot, hold up your clapping hands, and let's get it going. Here we go. Stomp, 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 clap, stomp, 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 clap, stomp, stomp. living underground. Everybody dig like a groundhog. Dig, 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 clap. Dig, 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 clap. Groundhog, oh groundhog. What makes you back so brown? It's a wonder I don't smother fly. Living down in the ground, ground. Living about a rooster. Strut like a rooster, y'all. Strut, 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 clap. Strut, 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 clap. Rooster, oh rooster. What makes your claws so hard? I've been scratching the crab all my life. It's a wonder I ain't tired, tired. A jaybird up in the sky. Flap your wings like a jaybird. Flap, 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 clap. Flap, 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 clap. Jaybird, oh jaybird. What makes it fly so high? I've been robbing the corn page all my life. It's a wonder I don't die. Die. Wonder. Clap at a real steady beat. Can y'all do that with me? Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's quarter note. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What's twice as fast as the quarter note? What's four plus four? Eight. An eighth note like this. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's eight plus eight? 16. Let's do a 16th note really fast. Here we go. A 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, Bye.
Thanks for singing and stomping and clapping along. All right, y'all. Um, like I said, today's show is going to be a little bit shorter than usual. So let's skip straight ahead to Critter Portraits. Would y'all like to see a few Critter Portraits? Good. I got some great artwork to share today. Here it comes. Critter time, portrait time, Critter Portrait time. Critter share, portrait share with you. All right, we've got four Critter Portraits to show off for us today. They're not all Critter Portraits, but they're cool artwork. This is from Tenzin. Tenzin sent me this cool heart yesterday. Um, she took some clay and she made little imprints in the clay with a little rose shape, with a little flower shape. We were celebrating Red Yarn's birthday yesterday, so Tenzin sent this cool clay artwork with impressions. I wonder if you have any clay or Play-Doh at your home, if you could do a project inspired by Tenzin, if you could find little objects to put into the clay or to put into the Play-Doh to leave a little imprint. You want to maybe talk, check with your grown-ups first to make sure that it's okay to put those objects into the clay. But this is such a cool idea to leave an imprint of another object in a piece of clay or a piece of Play-Doh. Tenzin, thank you for sharing that heart on my birthday. I so appreciated that. My friend Finn sent this incredibly detailed critter portrait scene. Uh, do you see everything that's going on in this scene? I see there's Mr. Froggy jumping across uh, lily pads in a pond. There's Thomas the turtle sitting on a rock by the pond. There's Grandmother Owl up in a tree. And there's Miss Snakey coming nearby. Wow, Finn, this is so cool. There's so much going on in this picture, and I'm really impressed with the way you carefully labeled each of those critters. Um, I love to do big scenes on my albums and stuff like that where I, where I pose a lot of the critters together in a big scene and a big tableau, and it looks like Finn likes to do the same thing, um, draw a lot of critters in the same scene. So thanks for sharing that, Finn. It's so detailed and beautiful. Next, my friend Sadie. Uh, Drew sent a couple more pictures today. This one is Sadie's birthday party with a lot of friends and some fairies and red yarns even there. Oh my gosh, Sadie, this looks like such a fun birthday party. And talk about a detailed tableau scene. You have so many friends and there's so many little scenes going on within the scene. I see, I think I see red yarn over in the corner maybe playing guitar. And I see friends sitting at the table eating cake. And I see more friends arriving at the party and coming up the stairs. There's so much action and activity. What a detailed scene. Here's another one from Sadie. This is Sadie and her sister and her friends visiting Shiloh the Squirrel's treehouse. Oh, that's so cool. I see the tree and all the little doors inside the tree. I see big Shiloh the Squirrel. I see you and your sister and your friends. Shiloh would love for you all to come and visit sometime when it's safe to get together again. Sadie, thank you for sharing this artwork. Can we give a big round of applause to all the critter artists today? Woohoo! And hey, I saw a note in my comments a second ago. There was somebody else who, whose birthday we missed. Um, our friends Colette and Amelia's dad, Dave, is turning, I don't know how old, is having a birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Dave. Woohoo! I hope you have an awesome day. I think early June birthdays are the best. I hope you have a great day. And Colette and Amelia, make sure to really celebrate your dad tomorrow, okay? Good, good, good. Let's do it. All right, friends, let's just sing one last song today. And then, like I said, we're going to wrap up a little bit early. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to encourage you to go maybe explore a few other children's music artists who I'll tell you a little bit more about in a second. But before we do that, I'd like to sing a song, send this song out to every soul in the whole wide world, every single person. It's so important that we think about how other people are living and what they're experiencing and send our love to them, even when we disagree with them, even when we don't fully understand what their lives are like, um, to think about their perspectives too and to try to have empathy. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try, hold out our finger like this. We're gonna point all around and we're gonna go, every little soul, it's going to shine, shine, shine. Every little soul 
is gonna shine, shine, shine. This is another old African American folk song called Mr. Rabbit. Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit, why your ears so long? Yes, oh yes, they were put on the wrong. Every little soul is gonna shine, shine, shine. Every little soul is gonna shine, shine, shine. Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit, why's your coat so gray? Yes, oh yes, it was made that way. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit, why is your coat so great? Yes, oh yes, it was made that way. Every little soul is gonna shine, shine, shine. Every little soul is gonna shine, shine, shine. Just like Mr. Rabbit can't control why his ears are so long or why his coat's so gray. We don't control where we're born or what we look like. So we gotta think about other people and, and, and understand that about them, right? Let's do Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit, what do you eat? Here we go. Oh, Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit, what do you eat? Carrots and cabbage from my head to my feet. Every little soul. It's gonna shine, shine, shine. Every little soul is gonna shine, shine, shine. One more, Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit, why your eyes so red? Yes, oh yes, I'm almost dead. Here we go. Oh, Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit, why your eyes so red? Yes, oh yes, I'm almost dead. Every little soul is gonna shine, shine, shine. Every little soul is gonna shine, shine, shine. Keep on making them shine. It's gonna shine. Oh, it's gonna shine, shine, shine. Oh, it's gonna shine, shine, shine. Oh, it's gonna shine. Thank y'all for singing along and thanks for tuning in today. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna encourage you all to do. I did a post uh, saying basically the same thing um, a little bit before my Facebook Live show started. So you can go back and look at that post for links. But I want to recommend that you spend the next 10 minutes or spend some time this weekend exploring the work of some other contemporary children's artists. Um, I think a lot of families right now are looking for ways to elevate black voices in their homes. So I wanted to highly recommend a handful of contemporary African-American children's artists. Um, I'm putting them up on the screen. You see Jazzy Ash, Aaron Nigel Smith, the Alphabet Rockers, Claudia Eliza Zanes, Uncle Devin, Saul Paul. I also mentioned in my post, uh, Uncle Jumbo. So go back to that post. Um, Link over to a few of these artists' sites. Spend some time um, exploring their work. All of them are actively making new work right now, putting new content up on Facebook, on Instagram, things that you can see, um, shows you can watch each and every day. So spend some time with those, y'all. And any donations you would have been making to me today, um, please consider donating to one of those artists. Or if you're looking for something else, if you have another, um, something you're focusing on at your home right now, maybe another social justice organization, um, please, whatever donations you would have sent in today, please send those elsewhere, either to um, another one of these artists I'm recommending or to an important social justice organization doing uh, vital work right now, okay? Um, I'm good for the week, so thank you so much. Um, friends, we got one more thing to do. Let's say, see you later, alligator, okay? Get your chompers out and repeat after me. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. After a while, crocodile. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. After a while, crocodile. Well, I really gotta go. Well, I really gotta go. 
Give me one more pretty smile. Give me one more pretty smile. Cheese. And high five for great singing and dancing today. A pat on the back for being good listeners and having safe bodies and for showing a lot of empathy. And how about a big hug for being such sweethearts. Mm. I hope you all are staying strong during this time. Um, thank you so much for continuing to tune into my show. I'll be back on Monday morning at 10 a.m., okay? And I'll see you then. I hope you all have a good weekend. Remember, keep on talking with your families about all that's going on in the world. If there's anything I said today that you're confused about, you can reach out to me. Um, feel free to reach out to me and ask me or talk to your family about it. Take care of each other out there. Take care of your communities. And I hope to see you soon, okay? Bye, friends.